Hey guys, it's time for everyone's favourite area, the gutter. <sighs> I know this is going to be a messy episode, but we'll deal with it. Okay, a couple of inventory management things first. I've headed over t to the old hags at... How's it called? The place to be twixt? Yeah. And respect so that I can use Santia's spear which has uh, 20 strength and 22 dexterity requirements. Um, took out the two extra points that I put into intelligence because I don't need strayed anymore. And actually I think that once you've gotten him to speak to you, he will speak to you again even if you don't meet the requirements anymore, so that's alright. Popped all my boss souls and that's, that's where my stats are at the moment. Um, what else? Uh, went over to the Lost Bastille and upgraded Santi's Spear to plus two and raw. Of course you can do the plus two here in Majula, but you have to do the raw with Macduff. Um, I took one club to plus six. Bastard Sword is still at plus eight because I haven't got enough Titanite chunks. Still need one more. Um, what else? Oh uh, yeah, uh, don't forget to get the silver cat ring if you haven't already. And uh, even though the club and bastard sort of just been repaired, actually looking at my gear, I'm I'm going to use some repair powder anyway. So we'll do that now. So equip anything that's broken that you need repaired. And we're almost set to go. Traded a whole lot of shit to the crows, they gave me a whole lot of shit back. So that was pretty pointless. Okay, apparently, I don't know if this is true or not, oh, that's what else I did. I uh, upgraded a Varangian Helm to plus three, because we you should have a shit ton of shards. So you might as well upgrade some armor. And I think a pair of trousers as well. Which, which ones did I do? Wanderer boots. Um, because Santia's spear, of course, at the moment is very. Well, it's not very heavy, but it's pretty heavy. It's 16 units, which is. That will put us over the 70 threshold, so we'd be fat rolling everywhere, which we don't want to do. Um, yeah, that's about it. I'm actually not going to recommend that you equip the Santia's spear for the gutter even though um, you want to be using it to break things because the things in the gutter actually do a surprising amount of damage and yeah you can definitely get get sort of ambushed unexpectedly so yeah but at the moment we are gonna strip butt naked because apparently and I don't know if this is true or not the lower your equip load the less full damage you take yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's true or not. Um, don't forget to put on your silver cat ring for fuck's sake. Cross your fingers, cross your legs. Take a deep breath. Alright, you can see the first platform just about down there. Okay, so I have got the silver cat ring on, haven't I? Yep, yeah, okay. <laughs> I might make sure you've got plenty of life gems. If you've got uh, flame arrows left, save them for Black Gulch. And off we go. Oh, ow, ow. That's still a bit painful drop. What have we got here? Radiant life gem. Top ourselves off. And next next platform you can see, pretty obviously, just down here. Now you may be tempted to drop down to this platform just here. Don't do it. Seriously, don't fucking do it. It makes it so much harder to get down to the bottom. Faris Lockstone. What you want to do is jump down to this platform directly below us. Walk very slowly. Hug the wall. Yes, it takes up a chunk of your life, but it, it's the easiest route. I'm telling you, it is the absolute easiest route. If you don't believe me, 
use one of your junk characters and uh, test out how difficult it is to get down there if you jump to that, you know, kind of useful looking platform. Okay, top ourselves off again, just in case something goes horrendously wrong, which of course it probably will. And uh, that's this platform that we're about to jump to here. You might be wondering why we're not jumping down to that one just there. It's because it, it again, I feel like it makes it harder. So we're just dropping down to this one. <laughs> it's, a, it's a decent chunk of health. Um, I'm sure there are much easier ways to do this, but I don't know them. And this for me has been the easiest. Now this little platform over here, you don't want to jump to it, you don't want to run to it, you just want to walk off. Just walk off the edge and your momentum will carry you. And we've got a nice easy drop to there. Ring of the Evil I plus one. Keep topping myself off. And this is the last bit, well the last bit of this part, just here. It's actually easier if you don't then land on the top of the the little arch there because it's really easy to fall straight down the well from there. And a homeward bone. We're not going to bother with um, the Grave of Lost Saints uh, because, yeah, it's a pain in the ass and we don't need to do it. Alright, I'm going to put my gear back on. Put on the Varangian Helm, I'm going to use Vengal's armour. I'm going to put the Seldora gloves on. And... Hmm, I think for this part I'm probably going to use the extra protection of the Wanderer's boots. Just to be really, really, really safe. Um, and I'd almost recommend that you keep the Silver Cat on for doing the gutter, although we're not quite there yet, just because you can fall so often and you know it might save your life if you cock things up. Okay, I'm going to put, uh, what am I going to use? I'm going to stick with the club and the bastard sword for the moment. And we put our bow on, where the hell's it gone? I might put the dragon rider bow on. There we go. Shield. Where are you, shield? There you are. That's about it. Right, off we go. Ah, one more thing. Poison moss. Don't forget to equip your poison mask because we will no doubt be poisoned. Okay. Oh shit, if you can get this, you're better than me. Holy crap! Oh fuck. Fuck! You asshole! you fell down. Damn it. Well, we're gonna fall down anyway, so that's alright. Would <laughs> That would have really pissed me off if I didn't have to go down there anyway. Okay, we're just gonna jump across here. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, made it. Well done. What have we got? Something particularly useless I think. Ash knuckle ring. What the hell does that do? Is that curse resistance or something like that? I can't remember. Let's have a look. Ash knuckle ring. Petrification resistance. Great. I I have no idea how to get to that item. I think you probably have to jump from that overbridge there through the Grave of Saints somehow. I always try to reach it from here, I don't think I ever have. No. <laughs> okay, homeward bone, three homeward bones. You're gonna get exploding guys coming at you. Just don't go too close and they should come one at a time. Come on. And one more. There we go. Charcoal pine resin, lovely. There's the stuff that the Titanite Lizard dropped. Titanite Shard, large... Nah, fuck. I don't need those, I need chunks. Great heal. And, uh... Now which one... 
Okay, so down here, obviously, you can tell by the the guy guarding it is um, a chest with sublime bone dust in it. Don't fucking try to shield bash me, you little dick. I don't think there's anything else. No, just the sublime going does, so that was a complete waste of time. Alright. Down to the next set of platforms and ladders. Random jump, lovely. You can't really go wrong here, just follow the, la the ladders down. There's one down here. Human effigy. Um, do I want to? Yeah, we'll just walk over here. What have we got here? Radiant life gem. place. Alright, almost there, almost at the bottom. And then we can really start shitting ourselves. Um, is this a... I don't think it's a mimic. No? Is it, is it trapped? No, that's weird. Okay, token of spite. Right, almost there. Where the hell's the exit? Why am I stuck behind those pillars? Because I'm useless. What? What the fuck? What's the fucking dog on? Oh, there it is. Sorry. <laughs> it's having a senior moment. Alright, here we are. Your favourite place and mine. Actually, I will. I will equip, equip Santia's spear and use it to break all these fucking annoying bastards here. Fuck you. Fuck you. And fuck you. And you. And you. Oh god, don't get too close to the edge unintentionally. And you. And all of you. You. Oops, wrong direction. And fuck you too. Oh, and you. If I can, if I can hit you. All right. Am I going to fat roll if I keep using this? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to take that. That only did I did six points of damage. That's not bad. All right. So I'm putting the club plus six on, and I'll put the bow back on. Where are you? There you are. And. I'm going to take a drink. Hang on. <sighs> Alright. Drop down here. Don't drop down there. Drop down this little bit here. Carefully. Um... Do not drop down there. I know it looks tempting, but don't. Makes it just more difficult to pay in the ass. And there's the, there's the bonfire. Don't fucking like the bonfire, <laughs> obviously. Um, what I do suggest you do, because there are so many um, places where you can fall down, is light a torch. At least use I know flame butterflies are, are limited at the moment but at the moment but once you light one of these you can um, you can go back and light your torch from that dung pie lovely and for God's sake don't go AFK don't fall through 
the little hole right here. You can't see it yet, but it is going to be a hole. If you if you go there, you will just directly in front of me. If I, can I make it? I wonder if I can make him break it. Come on. Oh, this is getting a bit. Um. There we go. Yeah. So don't fall through there. Not all will be will be lost, but um, it is a pain in the ass to get back on track from there. Set this on fire. Um, also, the other thing about setting those alight is that you can tell. It's much easier to tell where you've been if you do fall through a hole. Um, you can, yeah, you can see where you've been. Like, see how much damage he did there? That's like a third of my health almost. Um, yeah, I think the disadvantage of lighting a torch or having a torch in your hand is that it seems to maybe draw them towards us. Okay, so this path up to the right, no fucking way I'm going up there. There's, um, I think you can get the dark armor, uh, lightning spear plus three, life protection ring, which in case you're wondering, no, it doesn't work. If you die with the life protection on it, it, it still counts as having died. Um, and you'll get invaded. We'll probably get invaded anyway, but yeah, you'll get invaded by Melinda the armor or something like that. And yeah, not worth it. Just gonna keep myself topped off. Um, jump down a little bit to the left here so that you don't immediately get hit by these two bitches and poisoned. This guy, if you hear chains rattling, you know that one of those exploding guys is coming. So yeah, just be careful. Because you can get not only a chunk of your health taken off, but you can get knocked off and straight to your death. And these guys will just come from everywhere. You think that there's no one around and then suddenly six of them appear, climbing down ladders or up ladders. So keep an eye out. Okay. Let's see, there's another one he's about to drop down. You coming or not? Oh god, that gave me a fright. I don't know why. Come on. I'm not going to wait all day. Alright, let's keep going. Across the bridge. I think this is the right direction. Yep. Like this. Smash this. Smash these assholes through the... No, can't. Okay. There's a dog just across the bridge over there. I don't want to fight him over there because it's an area full of these dicks. You might be able to hear him breathing, so I'm going to run up the ladder. Run. Forest, run. Chest here. Black fire bombs, three of them. That might give you a hint that perhaps you should chuck some fire bombs down, which you can do. He's not going to give us the right angle to do it now. But oh, he might, he might. But I'm just going to use a bow. Oh fuck, I forgot about that. I might have to do it manually. Am I using? Sp I'm not using special arrows. I don't know why that's. But yeah, you can use use the black fire bombs if you want to. No worries. Okay, I think that's all there was around here. Yep. Hop back down. Um, grab a torch. Head across here, wait to get hit by a shit ton of fucking poison. 
you, you, and these dudes, fuck you too. I, you know what, I should be using a junk weapon instead of the club. I should at least be using, I should at least be using the club plus five. Let's use, yeah, okay. I still want to have a decent weapon for for what we come across. Oh fuck, where did you come from? A torch, lovely. And deal with these little shits. So that that all light. And is there another there's another one behind us. Where did he come from? Who knows? Oh you bitches. Am I going to wait for that to wear off? No, I can't be fucked. Ugh. See? Okay. Poison moss. Is there one on the floor? Yeah, there's one on the floor. So I don't forget her. And you can see that there are two. We're actually... I don't think we're going to be heading over to that area. That's part of where you would get to if you had taken the bridge instead of the path that we're taking. So I'm not even going to bother. Well, alright, I am going to bother shooting them because I, I just I can't leave them there. I can't even really see them anymore. No, no, don't. Oh, he climbed up. Screw it. I'm going to get him anyway. Ha. Right. Moving on. Okay, up the ladder. I think. <laughs> I've done the series so many times I still get lost. Like this. Now there is an exploding guy nearby. Uh, but he's not going to run at us just yet, I don't think. Is this guy drop poison throwing knife? But because we're carrying a torch, fuck you. There he is. He, if we hadn't been carrying a torch, he would have stayed on the other side of the bridge. The other thing I want to say is, do not fall down that. Where's the hole? I know there's a hole somewhere. Perhaps we haven't. Um... Oh god. Is there another one? What the fuck. Okay, I think there's a hole that you can drop down just to the right. I'm not going to do it. There's, uh, I think, some fire bombs down there. You can see an item in one of the pots. Uh, it's not worth it. It's not exactly the end of your run, but it's very difficult to get um, to get back to where we are because you have to make a jump to a ledge that's full of those poison assholes and uh, you can get interrupted mid jump, you can get poisoned massively once you get there it's just a nightmare. You'd almost be better to homeward bone back if you fell down there. And we've got some little corroding bugs here. Oh shit! Quite a few of them. Anything else? Yep, and I think we've got the evil eye shield, is it here? Oh, sorry, I have to break my jars, they're just asking for it. Alright. Wicked eye, sorry, wicked eye great shield. Pop a life gem. Have a drink. Alright. What did this guy drop? Golden fruit balm. Lovely. Like this. Smash this. Like this. And you can see that gap right in front of us. You can fall down that. Do not fucking fall down that gap. You will die. And we got one more of these guys. Fuck you. 
the only one. I can still hear rattling. But let's just take care of these ladies here first. And these ones over here. Like this. And like that. And we've got some mushrooms. I'm going to switch to the claymore because they're so bloody annoying. Not the claymore, sorry, the bastard sword. Um, and some of these nasty little statues. What else have we got? Poison moss. More poison moss. Three, actually. Lovely. Apparently, this mist that this bug sort of exudes will heal you if you're poisoned but I'm not sure if that's true or not and yeah if you kill him you'll get about depending on the you know soul increasing items you've got on maybe 18 1900 souls um I kind of like him I'm just gonna leave him it, it won't respawn once you've killed it Okay, be careful coming back here because remember there is that hole right there. And anything around here? I don't think there's anything else around here. No. Like you. Like this. Like this. And we're through the fog, the fog gate. And you're going to get a few of these guys standing up from where they've been napping. There are also a lot of holes here. Obviously, most of them have ladders, but still be careful because if you fall, you can still die. And let me just take care of her. And the second bonfire is right here somewhere. More dung pies. Second one fight is I think through here. And is there no. Okay, yeah. So here's a bonfire. Fantastic, no use to us. Missed me. So that's a light. Right. Now and that see where all these statues are that's the ledge that you would have had to jump to if you'd fallen down the hole that I mentioned previously you can smash these statues through the wall but we don't need to so I'm just gonna save or <laughs> save what's left of the club um, all of these ladders lead to the same place basically they all eventually lead to the ground um, but some of them will cut off part way and you'll fall to your death. And I will. Uh, okay, so this one, I think we can get to a chest if we drop down here. Okay. No, it must have been one further over. So check. For God's sake, check each ladder before you slide down it. Is that a... yeah, actually that is an exploding guy down there, so... Uh, you can climb part way down and he'll start to do his exploding sequence once he sees you. Go on, and then you just climb back up. And that takes care of him. And I'll light that. And you can see if we climb back up there, we'll just get to another of the, uh, the ledges, the ladders that we left. And you can see that ladder up there cuts off. And if you slide down that ladder, you'll fall to your death. Um, you can also see there's another ladder that leads to a little bit of treasure over there. So just go up and see if we can figure out which one it is. I can never bloody remember. Like that. Kill him. 
Okay, so it must be... Where is it coming from? It must be one to our left. It must be... This one over here. Is it there? Hmm. Maybe we do want to go down there. Can I drop very carefully there? Yep. Smash that. Smash that. And we get three rotten pine resin. And over here, just walk carefully. Oh god, that was a little bit close for comfort. If we drop down here, we can get. What is it? Oh, the great club. Fantastic. Okay. Now you can see you're going to get hit by quite a few sort of prisoners once you get down there. I'm going to switch to the bastard sword. Don't be afraid to equip your shield. You know, it's not worth dying just so you, you don't have to use a flame butterfly. Oh, fuck, I suck. And I'm going to use my shield because they are doing a lot of damage. You see their um, little broken swords? They look like they're dark infused or something. Maybe that's. Holy shit! <laughs> a little bit too casual. That's awesome. You might want to drop some firebombs from the platform before you <laughs> before you jump down. Jesus Christ. Oh god. It's gonna take me a while to recover from that. Holy fuck. Okay, I think that's everything that we have to deal with before we head to Black Gulch. Um <laughs> fuck up. Still <sighs> So I'm going to switch to Santia's spear now. Where's it gone? And am I going to fat roll? Yes, I'm really going to fat roll, but it doesn't matter. But just in case, I'm going to take off that and that. And use it to smash everything around here. Okay, we've got 20 life gems, very useful. And I'm gonna... I'm sure I saw a thing that I could light somewhere around here. Didn't I? Did I? I thought I did. What else have we got? Dark fog and another torch. Yeah, I did. Uh... Do I want to use a flame butterfly to light that one thing that we're never going to come back to, hopefully? No, I don't believe I do. Now these are corrosive jars. Yeah, so I don't want to be dealing with that shit. I'm going to strip naked, just so that I don't. Except for the Santia spear, of course. And just use the spear to smash them. And smash these. There we go. How are we looking there? Terrible. 490 of 500. Damn, I wish they hadn't patched that. Oh well. Okay. Put my shield back up. Not my shield. What the hell is it called? A bow. It's called a bow, you idiot. I'm going to put the lighter bow on and hopefully I can keep. Santia's spear equipped to break the statues in the next section, which is Black Gulch. So do our manchets. How are we looking? 43.4. Um, Wanderer. Can I equip the bastard sword? 52.2. Let's see, we might have to... 61... 
66, 80.9, that's not really an option, 56, 75, 73, hmm. Um, I might just put the banded armor on for the moment, just so we can use the spear. Okay, drop down here. Grab this, fragrant branch of yore, and off we head. Kill these kind of statues because I hate them. I hate them. Through the fog gate, and we are out of the shithole, and into the next shithole. <laughs> it's an even bigger shithole. Well, no, it's not actually. I think it's it's less. So here's your bonfire, and I think before we end this episode, I'm just going to talk to Lucatio. Smash the shit out of every statue that you can, but. Don't get overexcited and fall off the edge. Okay, and don't forget the ones on the ground too. They are nasty. I think we'll get a couple of invasions here too. Um, don't. Maybe I should cut this episode here. Yeah, I think I will cut this episode here actually. Just have a life gem to boost up and yep, I will see you guys right back here next time.